Oh, how good is that, right? Changing the volume. It's like Harry Potter. Oh my god, this is incredible. Yeah. Hello, one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass. I've been a YouTuber now for five years. Something I haven't talked about that much is my love for music. And actually working with Harmon Carden last year, producing the Soundcheck series for their channels, allowed me to indulge in music in a way I haven't done for years. Back when I was leaving school, I was surrounded by loud music all the time because not only was I working in the music industry, more on that to come soon, but I was also in a band. Myself, one of my best friends, a guy called Mike who played bass, a guy called Dan who played drums, and a guy called Charlie who was the singer, formed a band called Riot Park. Yeah, it was, wasn't a good name, gonna be honest, we weren't a good band. Anyway, yesterday, I got the band back together. Well, we're well, not all the band, because Charlie, well, Charlie's always been flaky, and he was, he was sick yesterday. Uh, but Mike and Dan came into London, and we piled into this BMW 7 Series, and drove around listening to our music through this Harman Kardon system, and just reminiscing about how awful we were, but how much fun we had. Does anybody see that girl? She rocks everybody's world. Should I get a pulse of Yes, I like to wait and see. Back then, I remember we used to do those recordings. I mean, these are all lots of like semi professional recordings, but we used to do those like home recordings during practice sessions, jump in the car, and that was all we could do is just blast it through the car stereo. Yeah. And that's yeah. how we would work out how good or bad we thought we were, which, you know, most of the time I think we thought we were great, right? Yeah. Yeah. But we didn't have these speakers. We didn't have these speakers to pick up yeah. on your yeah. bass, which yeah. would have yeah. proved that we were awful. <laughs> <laughs> at least now. <laughs> oh, I remember feeling so awkward playing this. Why? Why did you feel awkward? Well, because I think the first time we played it, she turned up. <laughs> she did. And uh, I was, was just at staring at you, and she was there, and it was like, no, what do we do now? About Sarah. She makes more bright. What do we know about Sarah? She doesn't often smile. What do we know? Which isn't a compliment. <laughs> She's staying for the night. What do we know about Sarah? Come on down, she was more polite. What do we know about Sarah? She doesn't often smile. What do we know about Sarah? She's staying for the night. It's genuinely transporting me back to that little oh, street, like that practice room. Once it room. kicks in, lyrics are The remember. lyrics are there, yeah. and it's like it's almost like you've got like the live like music mm. experience. Sitting yeah. here in the car, I just feel like we could be all have. We were what nineteen? Yeah. Oh, that's depressing, isn't it? He's not the one. It's just begun. It's just begun. She's not the one. Also, I feel like Charlie changed the lyrics to this oh, chorus like every time, right? Oh, yeah. Because like it was like, she's not the one, it's all begun, this is the one of the, this, she's not the one. This is the song I got mocked at the most at for your uni. It's like, oh, she the one, she's probably the one, I don't think she's the one, she could be the one, it might be my mom. Like that. <laughs> I do feel like we've been transported back to our recording studio or Perry's bedroom, thanks to these speakers, largely because it just feels like we're playing the instruments once again. Yeah. It's not in our hands. Um, so thank you for coming all this way. What's, what are you both up to, by the way? If, if my audience want to follow, follow you. <laughs> no, okay. I, I'm uh, having please a don't, crisis. Please don't follow yeah. me. I, I admit, we really weren't that good. So apologies for putting you through that, but it was so much fun to reminisce with those guys. I think it was quite interesting that we all kind of picked up on the fact that we felt like we could hear more of the music because of this Harman Kardon system. And last year when I went to film episode two of the Soundcheck series, I met with some Harman Kardon engineers and they explained that when they're creating these sound systems for the cars, because every single car they create an entirely new and sort of bespoke sound system for that particular vehicle, they spend hours and hours and hours fine tuning specific frequencies so that the listener is hearing what the artist kind of intended them to hear. It's a true, honest experience. And so things like the bass are so important for the listener to, to really feel, you know, as it comes up through the seat and fills your body, that's what makes you feel like you're really part of 
the track. But anyway, uh, I did tease about the fact that it wasn't just the fact that I was in a band that was sort of, you know, filling my life with music. I was also working in the music industry. And just after I left school, I lucked out and got a job with a music management company that looked after a whole load of different artists, but a ton of artists from the UK X Factor. And so right now I'm off to meet up with one of the acts that I used to help manage, Diana Vickers. She's an actress and singer. And today we're gonna just sort of drive around and do a bit of carpool karaoke and reminisce once again this is a it's a big throwback video but reminisce about those happy times listening to lots of music including her music as we drived around london town we're a bit rusty today <laughs> yeah. sounds great on the east sounds, wow. hello taking us right back once once yeah. i had home blind faith once Honestly, when this went to number one, what a moment. What? What? So this easy. is a tune. This is a banger. Sounds amazing. This is a freaking banger. Oh, I love this song. What's I've not this? actually listened to this song on a loudspeaker yet. I've only listened to it with my hey. headphones in. And this ain't so, no loudspeaker. This is a Harman Kardon. There we go. So I've never heard this and not on my headphones. Okay. So this is a big moment for me because I'm obsessed with this I'll song. I'll let you enjoy it. I'm not going to say a word. May I have this dance? Can I say something crazy? I love you. My favorite things about old school music industry back in the day when they want to listen to songs in the car and it was vinyl some people would have vinyl players installed in the car yeah that is that so was like cool. literally I, just the idea of somebody coming out of a studio and putting a vinyl Don't, on but a lot of people i'm sure my managers like have meetings where they go in cars and you just drive around listening to tracks uh, it happen. makes sense to me it would make because i honestly feel like firstly you can shut yourself away this is so this is a hybrid. Don't know if you picked up on that. Oh, right. <laughs> so it's even quieter still. Like we're in this completely like mm. closed off cabin. Yeah. And then you can hear everything. Like okay, so Edith, let's. It's a party in the USA. USA. Yeah. I don't remember the bridge. It's a party in the USA. See, that's a technical that's crazy. term. That's a technical term. The bridge. Did you just turn back down with your? Oh yeah. Do you want to have a go? Stop it. <laughs> Oh my god, that's How good is that, right? Changing the volume. It's like Harry Potter. Oh my god, this is incredible. Yeah. I wanna do it. I want you to have it. I never leave the ground. I know the fifth thing. I see that the album said the same. I don't feel it all on me. I might want to do something. In the middle of the smile. In the car, like, I don't care. When I'm putting on music and being loud and being silly, like, I don't care what people think of me. But why is that? Because I, I wouldn't walk down the street with headphones on being like, be like oh, crazy. Yeah, I know, like, but like, it's like, we are exposed. Like, people can see us, but I don't mind. I don't care it's like for you some reason. This, you, you, it's like it's you, a bubble. It's like a walking disco. <laughs> Well, huge thanks to Diana for doing that with me. That was a ton of fun. And today it's just been an awesome day for me to reminisce about my life 10 or so years ago. And as I say, it's something that you guys probably didn't know about me because you only really know of my existence since I started this channel. And I had an entirely different life before seen through glass. So yes, I appreciate you tolerating this throwback. Huge thanks to Harman Kardon for sort of letting me indulge in music once again. If you didn't see the soundcheck series that I produced for them last year, head over to their channels, episodes one, two, and three on there, each of them focusing on a slightly different area of their partnership with the BMW i Andretti Motorsports Formula E team, but also, as I mentioned, how they create their epic sound systems for cars like this hybrid BMW 7 Series. Give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.